All right, friends, we are doing it today. This is part two of my clean outside and inside. I'm going to be doing some deep cleaning outside before the upcoming winter, cleaning outside for the last time this season, cleaning over two days, also making healthy protein cake batter bites. So much jam packed into these two days worth of cleaning. So let's get ready and let's do this together. I think it was in my last video I had some comments from people where they liked or they liked enjoy seeing more of the the slow down clips or clips that weren't sped up and it's kind of like real time cleaning and so I'll sprinkle some of those clips into this video but let me know if you guys like seeing those random slower or real time clips. I don't think I could ever do like a full video in real time because it would be super boring and super, super long. Um, but it's funny because, you know, when you watch a cleaning video, you you think that person's moving so fast, but then when you see the real time clips, you're like, wow, they're moving really slow. They look like a turtle. <laughs> but anyways, um, hello friends. Thank you for being here. If you're new, I'm Jamie. I hope you're here. I hope you feel like you belong. You feel welcomed and we're just friends hanging out. I hope you're ready to get motivated. We are going to be speed cleaning over two days inside the house and outside of the house. I live in Northwest Ohio. And by this time in October, it's usually pretty cold outside and I'm not cleaning outside, but for some reason we are having record breaking heat. So it's been a little bit warmer and I'm trying to finish up the cleaning before the winter hits. So this will be the last time I'm cleaning outside. Next week, I am gonna be cleaning out my car. So that's technically outside, but as far as like cleaning the house, this is the last time for the season. This was on day one and I started out in the morning by sprinkling some baking soda on my mattress. I like to do this from time to time because it helps absorb odors on the mattress. The baking soda helps eliminate or odors by drawing out dirt and moisture. It can also help remove dust mites. So I like to do it every now and then, let it sit for pretty much all day long. I mean, if you don't have a lot of time, just let it sit for however long that you have, but I try to let it sit all day long. So here I was kind of doing my cleaning pre-workout, my cleaning stretching, like I like to call it, picking things up. Once I see the kitchen and the living room get picked up, I instantly feel warmed up and ready to keep moving. Later in today's video, I'm going to be sharing some protein cake batter bites and you guys, they blew my mind away. They were so good, so packed, full of protein. There's like no white sugar in there. They're healthy. Like I said, full of protein and super, super good, but I'll be showing those to you on day two as well as sharing a low carb sausage, egg, and cheese bite recipe. I like to eat 
more protein in the morning. I feel like my body just feels better and I have a better morning when I eat mainly protein for breakfast. Um, the kids have been eating these uh, sausage, egg, and cheese bites. Mike's been eating them. You can honestly eat them any time of the day, but they're really, really good. And those book stacks that I just showed um, with our names on it in the living room, I was sent those by an Etsy shop. So I will have her wonderful Etsy shop linked in my description as well as a 15% off coupon code. Ashley is super talented and has so much in her Etsy shop. So definitely go check it out and don't forget to use the coupon code if you want to save some money. Even if I can't deny So at this time, it was time to go outside and honestly, I did not want to clean out the garbage and the recycling can, so I decided that I was going to start with that first. Sometimes I like to get the worst tasks done right away and you're probably sitting there like, Jamie, why would you clean out your garbage can? Like, what's the purpose? You're just going to throw a dirty bag of garbage in there in a few minutes. Well, our big garbage can is in our garage. That's where it's, it has to stay. In our neighborhood those lovely HOAs, we are not allowed to have our garbage cans outside of the home unless it's fenced in. So some of our neighbors have had a little, well, not a little, like a higher fence, like a fence that would completely hide these garbage cans built on the side of their house, just like a little square to hide the garbage cans so they could be outside. But we are not doing that. So we just keep ours in our garage and I just don't want it smelling too bad. So I like to go in here and clean and deodorize it from time to time so it doesn't get too stinky. So that's why I'm cleaning it. And I was just keeping it simple with Dawn dish soap and scrubbing it out using the pressure of the hose. I was scrubbing a few of the areas with a rag and then I was going to put some white distilled vinegar in the bottom to sit there to help eliminate any lingering odors and then I was going to be doing the same thing with the recycling bin oh and really quick something really cool so you guys are possibly seeing this on Sunday um, but the upcoming Thursday it's a week for a Thursday video and if you're new here I put up videos every Sunday and then every other Thursday and this Thursday October 21st I have a video going up and it's going to be a fun one because I'm going to be cleaning and organizing in a new house, a new space. And no, it's not my parents' home. It's actually my sister-in-law's house. And what's funny is they just renovated their kitchen. So I get to show you what their kitchen looked like before and then what it looks like now. And it is absolutely beautiful. So they just finished up the renovations recently and she asked that I would come and help organize their kitchen. So I did probably what's considered part one. So make sure you have the notifications turned on and you're subscribed so you don't miss that fun one. It's fun because it's a new space and it's always fun for me to clean and organize a new space. It's like kind of energizing because it's all new to me and it's a new area to tackle.
So at this point, I wanted to hose off the front porch because there was a lot of hay on there. And I mean, it's kind of a losing battle with the hay. It, I'm just gonna have to deal with it until fall is over and I can take the hay bales away. But it had gotten really bad and hay was getting tracked into into the house so i was just going to remove everything hose off the front porch and then also clean the windows one more time before the winter hits and with cleaning the windows i was just going to use dawn dish soap and water in a bucket and i also want to thank you guys for your support in last week's video last sunday i shared my work history what i did for the past 10 years i worked for an organization for 10 years and um, just sharing some uh, something that I was a big advocate for, what I did, and I got so many supportive messages on that video, so thank you. It was really fun for me to share my work history and my education history and just kind of show you how I got to where I am now. And like I said, I have two education degrees and I got a lot of you guys who said, you know, you're a teacher, or you have a teaching degree but you don't want to teach anymore and you felt some encouragement knowing that it's it's possible to have an education degree and continue on and educate but not necessarily in a classroom i think i don't know me growing up i always thought you know being in education meant you have to have a classroom. And education to me is something that's important. It really fuels me. I love being an educator. And, you know, my dream of having my own classroom never happened. That opportunity never presented itself, even though I worked so hard, so, so hard to get there. It never happened to me. And, you know, I don't want to be cliche or cheesy but the quote you know when one door closes the other one opens or if it doesn't open it's not your door and sometimes it's hard for us to see that in the moment when we're crushed and we're defeated and I had only ever wanted to be a teacher I didn't want to be anything else and I just remember feeling rejected I remember feeling crushed and that I'd worked so hard to have a good resume pad my resume do do well in school get good grades um you know get high scores on all of my state testing to get my certifications I worked so hard and I still didn't get what I wanted and you know it's like you can work really hard in life and get what you want but you can also work really hard in life and not get what you want and um, you know that teaching door never opened for me but here I am and I'm still educating I'm teaching you guys and I still get to do what I love, um, but just in a different way. And I never thought that could happen. So if you need to hear this, I hope it helps. Um, I hope it shows you that there is another door that will open for you. So if you guys have seen me clean my windows before, I typically use a cleaning a window cleaning tool that has like a scrubber and then a squeegee um, and I just decided to do something a little bit different switch it up a little bit so obviously you guys saw me clean with just the dawn and water and a rag um, but because I didn't have a squeegee or I didn't use a squeegee I just wanted to add this and this just kind of if there were any water marks which there actually weren't it dried really good I think it's probably because it's really windy um, but there weren't any water marks but if there was um, then this would take care of it plus it has rain x on it so it's a two-in-one glass cleaner plus rain repellent and i've used this on my shower doors before so i just decided to switch it up a little bit and use this on the windows and it just adds a little extra cleaning power i guess Obviously at this point it was much later in the night and I was vacuuming up the baking soda on the bed and I use our shop vac because I've heard that using a regular vacuum to vacuum up baking soda can ruin your vacuum but some people say it's safe. Either way I don't want to take the chance on ruining my vacuum so I just use the shop vac. You having a rough day? Rough day? Are you having a rough day? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. 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 <laughs> well, yeah. I'm clearly having a rough day. 
and it has been a rough day. Um, but that's okay. It happens. We're gonna get these girls to bed, make sure Avery's okay, and then make the bed, and then this mama is going to bed. But there will be day two, more cleaning um, here in a couple of days. Let's hope and pray everyone stays healthy and we can stay afloat for the rest of the week. <laughs> day two and I am feeling much better today than I was yesterday and I'm sitting here with Reese with my sweet dog Reese Reese cup <laughs> um, and just trying to get motivated to get up and get moving yesterday I was so tired um, and I'm feeling much better today more rested um, but just because I'm rested doesn't mean I necessarily have the motivation. But I am telling you, people always ask me how I have the motivation, and it's nap time. Like, if I don't get stuff during nap time, it is much harder to get done when the twins are awake. So my motivation to not procrastinate is when they go down for a nap, get moving. So that's what I tell myself. You have to get moving now or it will never get done. So um, I'm determined to make this a productive nap time. So here we have the amazing protein cake batter bites. It's just a few ingredients as well as roll roll rolled oats, peanut butter, vanilla protein powder, honey, vanilla extract, and sprinkles. And I will have the recipe linked in the description. You have to click an arrow and then read more, but I promise you it's linked there. They just make the description box very hard to find now, but just keep finding the read more. It's there. Um, but these didn't even last one day in my home. So they're that good. And I just love because they're healthy and packed full of protein. just put these in the fridge for a few minutes and I tried them so good so good like I'm gonna be making these all of the time now they're really really good you guys need to make these So here on day two, I was tackling just some random tasks. Like the door had been messy and dirty like that for a while. And every time I would leave or come home, I would see those marks and I was like, oh, I need to clean that. And I'd forget. So I was finally tackling those areas um, and I was using the Dawn Power Wash to get the frame of the door. And then I was going to use the Mrs. Meyers Multi-Surface Spray in Mum to get the baseboards down the front hallway and the banister and i also had planned on vacuuming and mopping and then making the low carb sausage egg and cheese bites
I also had been doing a lot of disinfecting throughout the week. So you're seeing this after all three of my girls were pretty sick. Um, Emery was the first one to get sick and she threw up and then was running a fever. And then the next morning, Addison got it, same thing, throwing up fever. And then two days later, Avery got it. And uh, I guess the good part is the sickness was very fast moving. I mean, it lasted maybe 12 hours for all three girls. So that was good. Um, but this was kind of like our first experience of seeing a sickness go through all three. I mean, I know that any sickness one of the twins gets, the other one will get because they share and do everything together. But we were crossing our fingers and hoping that Avery would not get it, but she did. Um, she didn't throw up though, so I don't think it hit her as bad as the twins. Um, but hopefully we can just try to stay healthy because it's like one kid gets it and then they all get it. And that's no fun for anyone. <laughs> I've been getting a lot of messages about the Tinco iFloor 2. It's a wet dry vacuum, so it's a mop and vacuum in one. A lot of people asking if I think it's worth it. And the answer to that is 110% yes. I love it. I do think it's worth it. The next question I get is, would I recommend this over the O-Cedar Spin Mop? And I hate to be like not giving you a direct answer, but I like having both. Like I don't, I don't like one over the other. It's just... I mean, you know, it just depends on my mood, how much time I have, what I kind of want um, in mopping, I guess. So it just depends. Um, but I mean, like the O-Cedar is great and it's a lot cheaper, you know? So if your budget's smaller, then go with O-Cedar. The O-Cedar Spin Mop's great. Um, but with the Tinco, like I love that it can vacuum and mop at the same time. So I feel like I'm getting two tasks, two tasks done at once. Um, so that's really nice as well. So I guess it just depends, but if you already have the O-Cedar Spin Mop and you're thinking about getting the, the eye floor too, highly recommend it. I love it. It's also pretty easy to clean. You just take apart the filter and a couple of the parts and then I wash it all down. It takes me like two minutes to do it and I let it dry. There's also a self-cleaning mode. So if you just need to clean it really fast, there's also that as well. So it's not that bad to clean. Um, and it's always crazy to me to see how dirty the water is when I'm done cleaning my floors.
Okay, you guys, this is exactly why I didn't run my Roomba and I ran the Shark. It's not because Roomba, Roomba doesn't do a good job, because it does, but in my experience, this corded vacuum does better than any of my cordless vacuums and my robotic vacuums. And I can't speak, I always wanna make for sure, like put a disclaimer. This is just for the specific models and vacuums that I have. It doesn't mean that you could have a top of the line cordless vacuum that does has more suction power. There's a way that they measure it, but this is exactly why I wanted to use this corded vacuum today because Reese is shedding like crazy and look at that. That's just from the living room carpet. And I vacuumed two days ago. I didn't vacuum yesterday, but two days ago. Okay, and here are the low-carb keto. I think they're also gluten-free. Don't hold me to that. I thought that's what the recipe said, but I we're not gluten-free, so I don't I don't know. But um, they are sausage, egg, and cheese bites. I will have the recipe linked in the description. Um, you can use them as a snack. You can like we eat them for breakfast. The kids like them for breakfast. Um, I made them and then I stored them in the fridge for about five days. But it's super simple. I just cooked the sausage, um, added some cream cheese, and then co coconut flour, eggs, cheese, and baking powder. And if you do make these, make sure you follow the recipe, like it says. Um, it's a very short recipe, minimal ingredients. But like one of it says, or one of the steps says, you have to make for sure the sausage is fully cooled before mixing all of the ingredients together. And so that's just like one step that you just have to make for sure you follow or you're not gonna get the results you want. So if you try it out, make sure you follow the recipe. Is that good? Is it good? You guys are cute. So I wanted so I wanted to show this to you guys really quickly. Um, I'm sure I've already mentioned it, but we've had a lot of sicknesses going through our family and um, Avery was sick. She was the last one who's sick. It went through the twins and then through Avery. And when she was sick, this is the little puke bucket if if you will that we give her and what's crazy and the reason why it says addison's tubby is because when the girls the twins were in the nicu this is how they were bathed so they fit from head to toe in this little bucket and one of our nicu nurses which all of our nicu nurses were amazing like some of the best nurses ever um like you know, there were times that Mike and I would come home, well, he was back at work, um, and I would come home to sleep, be with Avery, spend some time, and then wake up in the next morning and go straight back to the NICU. And I just remember feeling so many emotions just because I was recovering from a C-section. I was in pain postpartum. You know, I had these high, high two baby hormones inside of me and then completely dropped, going through postpartum, all those emotions, and then going through recovering from a c-section um anyways and i would just walk in and the nurses would just be cuddling and loving on our babies and it just made me feel so much better but anyways what i was saying was um the nurse was she had i think four kids and she's like these make great puke buck buckets so i saved them and not only is it nice to have these um but it's also a good memory you know to think of how big the girls are and how much they have grown. Well, per usual, I forgot to close out the video. So 
So here I am trying to get the video edited during nap time. I don't know if you can hear them talking, but trying to get this edited so I can get it up to you in a couple of days. Um, we're actually getting ready to go on, we're going to a water park with Mike's family for the weekend. So here it is, crunch time Friday, trying to get it all ready to go so we can have fun this weekend with the fam. Um, but thank you guys for sticking around, being here until the end. I mean, I'm grateful for anyone who takes time to watch my videos, but if you stay the whole time, wow. <laughs> the fact that you guys dedicated 30 plus minutes of your life to me, thank you guys. Thank you. I can never say that enough, but thank you. And there will be a new video up Thursday, so the upcoming Thursday, and it's a good one because I'm going to be organizing my sister-in-law's brand new renovated kitchen. So you, you get to see me in a new space and a brand new kitchen that they were, that they recently renovated. So stay tuned for that. Um, but yeah, I think that's it. I hope you guys have a good day and I will see you next time. Bye. Mm -hmm.